today we're going to show you how to play a nice mutton that we got today. Uh, first thing we're going to do is, what you want to do is kind of feel along this top edge right here so you get the most amount of meat. And once you break through the scales, you just want to take the, the tip of the knife and work down. You're going to notice that there's some rib. He's going to deflate there. Work down. Well, I cut to about right the beginning of the anal fin right here. And then I spin around. I'm going to start working the meat right down this fine little edge right here. Every once in a while, you, what you want to do is knock the scales off because they block the blade. You don't want to skip out. So you're just tipping it, just the tip, all the way down. I'm going to knock the scales off. So once you get to this point, you kind of want to lift up and just kind of let that tip do the work for you. And that way you can just roll it right across between the backbone and the, it pulls the flesh right up and off. And then when you get to that point, you kind of want to get up in there so that when you roll this right along the edge there, when you're done with this carcass, you should just about be able to see through it. And then you get to these ribs. These ribs are pretty tough on these fish. So what you want to do is kind of work right down along the edge of those ribs and then start working towards the bottom edge of that meat because you want to have a nice bottom edge as well too. I cut them to about right there. And I flip them. And this is the most important part, I think. You get the most amount of meat off of and not go through the skin. Is you want it to be laying kind of close to the edge here. And then just take the, the back section of the knife and roll it real flat. Oh, watch yourself. I don't want to slice it? Yeah, I don't want to get it into you. Good idea. <laughs> fish food. And then you do is you're going to take these little ribs right here. Try to get as close as you can because you want to save as much meat as possible. And then this area right here is the bloodline and the pin bones. What I like to do is roll it right down the edge of that bloodline. Split that open. There's little bones in here. But keep in mind you and the bloodline is what we feed our pinfish in the in our in our in our wells here at the dock. But basically that is bone free, ready to either put on the grill, rock and roll. <laughs>